that if I share something very simple, which is to really release and relax your mind. Release and relax your mind. Allow all your ordinary thoughts to naturally dissolve. In the teachings it is said, neither follow the past, nor anticipate the future. Ndepe nam tu ku jes mandro. Maum be nam tu tu musu. Tati hepa. Sena rigpa. Ka ta pa ti nang pa. Hele wa ya ya ko. So that neither follow the past, nor anticipate the future, but leave your mind in the clear awareness of nowness. When you leave it in that way, even if thoughts or even risings may come, we should not suppress them. We should not block them, nor we should really try to follow or try to indulge in them. Whatever rises, you leave the rising in the rising. Quiet, you see. If you remain present, undistracted, then your mind and thoughts and thinking, they will all settle. It's like the clouds will dissolve, slowly revealing a clear sky. When the thoughts and emotions all settle. Into the state of calm abiding. That shine. That accomplishing the shamatha. And then you're able to remain in the state of non-destruction. Then out of that state of come abiding, comes the clear seeing, then something within it opens up. Insight, clarity, that's called vipassana. Particularly, you see, vipassana, I mean, there are many, many levels of vipassana. <coughs> Generally, the vipassana that's taught in the Theravada tradition that's taught in what's called inside meditation, the Vipassana that's taught in the West, is based on, it's according to the Theravada tradition. And it's also based more on shamatha. There is a lot of sitting practice, mindfulness of the body, mindfulness of feeling, and so on, so on. And then the result will be, the main thing is the real, Vipassana experience is that when you reach to a state of level where the grasping dissolves, it's like, you know, when something clears up, when mind settles in the state of calm abiding, and there's clear insight, there's, there's like, you know, that then, that then when you look and see, you know, your perception it's like, put it this way, there's no longer grasping enter into the, your perception. No longer, you understand? You're free of grasping. That's called glimpse of what's called dame tope It's called the 
glimpse of the realization of wisdom of egolessness. Slowly the ego in grasping dissolves. You explain that the wisdom of egolessness. When you begin to explain that more and more, and when you go further and further, deeper and deeper, then you experience uh, what is called glimpse of shunyata, tongbanyi, can come through. First the, this thing, and then the experience of shunyata of the nature mind begins to dawn. All of this can happen very quickly as your mind cells and combine immediately clear insight comes, like something is free from within. Like the knot is unknotted, you're free, you feel peace, you feel spaciousness, you feel not only calm, you feel serenity, you feel clarity. <laughs>